Hey y'all, it's Brandy, the creator of the Healthy Conscious Mompreneur channel. Um, for those of you who don't know me, like I said, I'm Brandy. I am an author, a mother, a six-figure Amazon seller, and I love all things health and wellness. So you'll find videos about all those topics and the Bible on this channel. Um, yeah, so today I wanted to talk to you about how to teach your child, balance teaching your child and being a mompreneur. So I plan on homeschooling. My child is four right now. She'll be five in May. And I can't believe I have to get ready for actual like structured learning. That's crazy. But I just feel like there's no way I could put her in regular school because she's already knows so much because I teach her all the time and we don't do anything formal. I mean, she does some formal things, but like how she's learned has not been formal. It's just like everyday life. We do this, we do that. Like everything, every, everything we do together is a chance to learn. So um, I'm just going to go over some tools I've used to help me teach her, you know, the basic things like counting days of the week, months, um, reading, alphabet, sounds of the letters, foods, just whatever. So <clears throat> whenever we do something, I'm always explaining why we're doing it. Like when we eat certain things, I explain why we eat this food, what it does for the body. So it's always a learning thing. Or like, if she asks me, what, mom, what is this word? I never just tell her the word. I always make her sound out the letters, whether she sounds it out and she gets the word. That's one thing. But if she doesn't, whatever. But I like her practicing the sounds. Like, I don't just tell her things. I make her think about things. So to learn the alphabet, I honestly just played the show on YouTube, Akili. Um, probably started when she was around 18 months. It's the only thing I used to let her listen to was Akili. And all I did was the letters and the numbers over and over and over and over and over and over. So I didn't really have to sit down and be like, this is A, this is B, this is C. Like I just let that play in the background. Like say I was doing her hair. So that would be playing in the background. Or... While she was playing with her toys, I let that be playing in the background. So it was just getting into her subconscious regardless. So that's one way. Um, there was also this leapfrog movie video. I can't remember what it was on. It wasn't on YouTube, but it was leapfrog and it just taught them. They went to the alphabet factory. That was the name of it. And it went through all the sounds of the letters and literally watching that show two times, she knew all her letter sounds. And then from her, them teaching her the basics, then we just practiced it all the time. I'm like, Journey, what sound does A make? Okay, good job. Or like I said, when she asked me how to, how to say a word, I make her tell me, sound it out first. And then I'll tell you if you can't figure it out. So you can use like those little educational shows to teach them the basics but then you have to practice it with them in everyday life and then like sometimes she'll just do it on her own and I'm like yeah that's right good job um for as far as the months and the days of the week um it was easy to start teaching her in the months with the people in our family's birthdays that's how I did the month so I didn't it wasn't like a we went through and it's like, okay, it's January, February, March, April. No, we didn't do that. I'd be like, mommy's birthday's in August. Your birthday's in May. Yaya's birthday's in October. So on, so on, you get it. So then it would give her a reason to remember the month. And so then every time she sees that month, she's like, that is such and such birthday. Or that is my birthday. And, um... Yeah, she learned the fundamentals of counting 
from the show, but then I also have, because I created her a schoolroom. I'll have to give you all a tour of it one day, her schoolroom. And on there, I had a chart of the numbers, one through 100. And I just go through the chart with her a few times. And then she starts to do it on her own. And then she's really proud of herself when she does it. And yeah, so then we're going to start working on count by tens, count by twenties, count by fives, and so she can see the pattern. Um, so it's just having things around that can help assist you in teaching the basics. Because as a mompreneur, you're busy. And so like you could have them watching something educational that you can later on enforce, but they're learning the foundation of that thing. Because we know repetition is what makes it stick. So it's our job to do the repetition, but we can use these kind of tools to help us teach the foundation. Another thing is I let her watch um, Your Baby Can Learn or Your Baby Can Read. I bought that program. And so I used to play that when she was real little too. So I don't know if that's why she's like so advanced with speaking. because She's been speaking since she was about, I don't know, 15 months. Like by the time she was, 18 months she had over 100 words in her vocabulary and she was saying like five word sentences crazy and she talks all the time she's definitely a talker so those are ways and then like you can always use the time in the car like we point out letters on on signs we uh maybe we'll see shapes or something and she'll do that like and then, you know, she has those toys that are the different shapes. So that was how she learned. And then she, like, builds stuff. And then I'm asking her, like, oh, what kind of shape are you building? She's like, a square or a triangle, whatever. So, like, it's more also about you just asking questions and engaging in whatever activity that they're doing. And then colors. I just be like, what color is the grass? Green. What color is the sky? Blue. What color are our eyes? Brown. So like she's just constantly having to think about these things. And then she notices these things in her environment. And then eventually she tells me and then I'm just confirming or correcting. Um, Yeah. So it's like you have to be prepared with activities for them to do while you're working that are just as beneficial to them as it would be if you could just sit down and devote all your time. Because like I said, as a mompreneur, especially if you do not have a support system, you're going to have to have other things help supporting you. Maybe you can afford to have a tutor or something like that. If you can, then cool. But if you can't, these are some of the things I've done. And YouTube has definitely been a great resource. I have the paid version specifically. So I know she doesn't have to see the ads. And she's only watching what I want her to watch on there. Because I don't trust it. To say the least. And then there's different educational shows that I've let her watch. Like Leapfrog, like I said. And the My Baby Can Read. And that's... Those are like, and then the Akili, those are like been the only educational things I watch. I let her watch some documentaries too, like on um, the animals mainly. Yeah. But, um, and then she has her school room. So there's lots of activities I have in there. I have to give you a tour of it and then we could go over how I use those things on a, on a basis to help. But in general, have some things that your child can watch on YouTube that then you can later go back in and reinforce what they learned. Uh, make sure you go over it first yourself before you just blindly let them watch it. And yeah, that's all it is. It's about just, I'm just winging it almost because like life is a learning Thing. like it doesn't have to be you no know, sit down and do this yes I mean she's starting having interest in learning how to read so yes I have to make time to sit down and read the books but I bought those little starter books off of Timu and they're actually really good she's doing really good with those um, maybe I'll post a video of her reading her book but 
I never learned phonics. I learned reading by sight words. So I'm trying to teach her phonics, which is kind of hard because I don't even know the phonics myself, honestly. Like, I don't, I know the words, but like, I don't know the, have the phonetic understanding behind it for me to be able to teach it to her. So I bought this book that I saw other moms use for homeschooling, teaching them how to read. It's like how to teach your child to read in a hundred days or something. So it's like one lesson a day you do and it teaches phonics. So I'm sure if it, it, yeah, I think it'll help me help her help me <laughs> um, learn phonics and how to read that way. So we're going to start that. Maybe I'll start it in the summer. I don't know. Right now she's been working on math. And I buy those little workbooks that they have in the dollar section at Target. Um, they have subtraction, addition, multiplication, all that stuff. I mean, she had flashcards. We didn't really do the flashcards. Even though I had them, I didn't really do them. That just wasn't it for us. <laughs> um, yeah, but those little workbooks are handy. And I especially like the dry erase ones. And then she can redo them and redo them and redo them and redo them. And then she loves doing them. And they keep her busy for a while. The only thing is I have to make sure she stays focused and doesn't use that marker anywhere else. Because she is a child. And she will get bright ideas that aren't so bright. So if y'all have anything that you use to help you teach your child as being a mom doer and you were trying to be a homeschool mom, let me know in the comments. Um, comment below if you want me to give you a tour of the school room that I created for her. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you for watching. Um, check out some of my other videos about different parenting tips I gave or Amazon business, if you're thinking about starting an Amazon store, which I highly recommend for stay-at-home moms, or if you're trying to be a stay-at-home mom, it's definitely a way for you to make that happen. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Until next time, bye.